Okay, so Strider has a pink nose, and the Mayoron palette has a beautiful pink, and so I'm just going to dab in the pink. And because I, when I wet it, re-wet it, it makes what I've already laid down liquid again, I'm actually going to blend it, and the pink actually disappears up onto his nose a little bit when I look at the picture. So I'm trying to make this as pale as I can. And I don't know if you can see that or not. So why don't I zoom in a little bit for you. Let's see if that's going to zoom for you. So you can see the pink. And I'm just going to cover kind of my outer nostril. And Okay, the pink also extends down around the nose and onto the philtrum. That's what that little middle section is on your face, underneath your nose. So I'm going to actually bring this pink down. And you'll see it's really bright right now. I'm gonna I'll blend that out with the white. I'm gonna get it all along underneath here. And it kind of comes down to a point in the middle. Okay, the next thing I'm gonna do is go back and work on my face a little bit more. I'm gonna take a super fine paintbrush, and I love this. This is a, I use this for eyeliner. See how tiny that is and pointed. And um, I'm gonna go ahead and draw in some whiskers. Now Normally, I would try to find a way to make them three-dimensional, something that I could have fixed to my face, but I could not find anything. My recommendation would be to try to find some fiber optic, um, nylon, the super, super skinny things that you find in those funky lamps where the light rotates underneath and comes up through the fibers. I think those would be terrific. I just, I could not find anything like that. Um, so perhaps through, uh, again, theatrical makeup company online like Mayron or Ben Nye, you could probably find something like that where you could affix it with spirit gum or a medical adhesive where it would stay. So for tonight, I'm just going to go ahead and draw these on. So again, just dabbing. Uh, wetting my brush and then dabbing it into the palette, clean white. And um, this is going to be tricky because we don't want to streak the, the black too much. And his, he's got long, long whiskers and they are numerous. So if you look at the picture, you can see those long, long whiskers. It would have been neat to really affix something to the face. So I'm just going to go ahead and out here, they start out here. They don't actually start in the white. What it is is they kind of disappear, and I'm just going to, with a light stroke. Okay, so because my camera has these little uh, SD cards, I went ahead and transferred uh, video clip over, and while I was doing that, I did a couple things to my face. Uh, it, took, it takes about 10 minutes to transfer stuff over, so I wanted to show you some detail work. So here, with the whiskers, I went back in and put some little black dots on this side, and then Strider's face, my kitty's face, has this sharp point. So I kind of drew that in while I was waiting. And then also I went back and defined under the nose a little bit more. So let me show you how I did the dots here. So you'll see there's dots here. And all I did was take that super fine brush again, super fine tip, dipped it in water, and then back into my Mayron palette. And then just very lightly. on dots. Where are the whiskers? Come out. So Strider also has these eyebrows. <laughs> so I'm going to draw some of those in using the same super pointy brush and I got to choose a spot to stick them. So probably out here. And I'm just going to draw up and draw them out. Okay, and just like my kitty, he's got these funny little dots on his nose. <laughs> right there. So I'm going to put a couple of those on my nose. Again, just using the Mayron palette. Tiny brush, same brush. And uh, let's see. I'm going to stick on one here. Kind of there. Gives him some character. And then he's got another one right here. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is work on some more detail, and you'll see my neck here is clear. I'm wearing a black shirt, but Strider actually has a bib that's all white. He's bibbed, booted, and mitted, as I like to say. So I'm going to go ahead and paint my neck from, from here down, a little itch. 
um, with white, and I'm going to take the Mayron cream makeup that I have and put that into a palette. Okay, so you can see a dab of it in there. And then I'm going to take the same flat brush that I used earlier to put the black on my face. It's, I've wet it a little bit, and I'm going to dab this out. And then I'm just going to lift up and just go along right up to where the black meets and then you can see it's kind of white. This is going to take me a minute to fill so I'm not going to show you the whole thing but the whole time it takes me to paint it. But.